Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, um, please remember, if you like this video, um, hit that subscribe button to be sure you get my weekly uploads. Now, let's get to your reading. Leo. Okay, so well, this could be you, it could be the other person. As you know, these energies can go vice versa. I feel like somebody has a choice. Okay, I, you know, your choice can be to uh, stay with these things that are burdening you or to go and try to make things better. Okay, to go after your happiness, basically. Okay, because I feel like these are sitting on the card of humanity. The card of humanity is about a mistake, <laughs> reckoning with with failure, um, um, owning up to a mistake that you made. Um, this can also indicate uh, the action of regaining possession of something. Okay. Um, it can also be clearing a debt. Um, but it can also be, there's many ways this could go. It could also be uh, that it could be that you're thinking of, uh, of of atoning for something, making up for a mistake, or getting, um, gaining, regaining possession of something, but that you are worried about the cost, the consequence of that action. Okay. What would I get or gain? for my effort so here we have the ten of cups here we have the uh, ten of wands and here we have the ways and the ways is telling me that this is your choice these are your choices you can stay in that energy being burdened by what you've lost and and maybe what could have been or you can take action instead to lay down those burdens and to go after your happiness. Now, the ways also says that um, it says that there could be um, a sense of finality when it comes to that choice. It's like once you select a path, it's unlikely you'll have the opportunity to go back and re-choose. It tells you, choose wisely. So like maybe if you, an example, if you were too afraid, you decided not to, to go for your happiness, well, uh, you could maybe just lose your chance. You know, so uh, choose wisely. You may not get a chance to re-choose here. So at the root of this, we have these cards. And again, we have this choice. Okay, it looks like over here, it looks like, um, it looks like this person, whoever this is, behaved badly in the past. Okay, but... Um, I feel like there's regret for that behavior and I feel like a lot of reflection on that behavior because the elephant says that uh, that this this journey leaves this person wiser at the end. So something has been learned here. Um, I feel like um, it, it's it's possible that this person may have exploded with the volcano. This is like repressed emotions coming out. Um, losing control is what it is. It's things 
being forced to the surface to be dealt with and it has to do with this eight of swords this person whoever this is has uh, feels it's like they have that mind of a victim okay so they've had some bad experiences in their life that uh, have created this mindset that they're in okay um, yeah so uh, that is has and is uh, has been and is <laughs> influencing them and the situation um, it's uh, I'm just looking at the next card underneath yeah okay so I'm just gonna lay this here because those are very important so I'll leave them there um, okay so what we see is them in reflection okay so they had a puzzle they had to figure out and I think that if not entirely understood they have uh, figured out I feel quite a bit okay and so the reason I'm saying that is here there's something there's not they're not seeing okay there they are in the dark with the moon a lot of a lot of repressed emotions the subconscious mind uh, the things that pull at them emotionally but then we have this hangman now this hangman in particular he has come to an understanding of how he got here and he now knows what to do so they do know what to do and this lion's appearance on top of it is indicating that it's time for them to act they know what to do it's time for them to act but they're still holding back out of fear so these feelings of fear fears of betrayal uh, unwelcome surprises you know they're still they still even though they understand more those fears don't go away overnight so they're still really dealing with them although they do know what they need to do okay and they want to t to take action we have the healing card up here um, she's also about um, making these adjustments to uh, bring uh, things back into balance bring the emotions back into balance um, and this card of identity well um, it's about questioning uh, identity so maybe I feel like maybe they are questioning your identity um, it could be uh, that you are questioning your own identity which is what you would have been doing here you know um, who are you uh, where are you going um, it could be that you're if you're if you're or where you came from how you ended up here you could be also questioning somebody else's identity uh, what are well, because what you believe that what they were showing you was uh, not matching up with what they were saying that's a possibility you could be trying to figure out with this card who somebody really is or how they really feel about you it could be that you or they whoever this is has been trying to figure out their own identity and what makes them you know them and um, now I feel like they have pretty much got that figured out and they want to know now how you feel okay so how you feel may still be in question or vice versa when it comes to love when it comes to this connection 
this person was wounded. I feel like a wound was influencing that relationship. And I feel like they were uh, looking back at this wound at that that was influencing this. And I believe it still is to some degree because they're not entirely, um, uh, they're not, they're not confident yet. Like they're still very fearful. Looking back at this wound um, uh, for wisdom, looking back at, yeah, at the wound, at love, um, loyalties, betrayals. They're looking back at all of that for wisdom for the future. With the whale on top of these cards, the whale is like great worry for nothing. So, um, <clears throat> that card indicates that whoever this is, you or them, will be faced with certain situations that will cause them a great deal of anxiety. However, as time passes, the situation will disappear and you will realize that you were worried for nothing. You or them. Here we see uh, we see that they went on the attack. Now that's also evident with the uh, volcano. They blew. They blew. And um, they attacked you. You didn't see it coming. There was a deeper emotional issue for that. I believe that they have shed light on that because the lantern is also here. Now I feel like they're going to use that lantern. Um, and the information gleaned here um, to go seek more answers, okay? So I feel like they have done the inner work as much as they could for now. And um, and now they're, they're going to uh, take this direction. I feel like this is, it is what they're going to do. I feel like they have been holding back, but we also have the glove here tells me that uh, I feel like they're going to test the waters here. They're, they want to get the feel or the fit of something. It could be in the past that they threw down the glove. Um, because, you know, maybe things weren't going the way they wanted them to. Again, there was a deeper issue behind the action that they took in the past. Okay. Um, and I feel like they do see this now. I feel like they will most likely open up about this in the future. Um, when they walked away, they didn't let you see how they were really feeling. The eyes are downcast. The heart is covered here with that cape. They didn't, they didn't want you to know. It was a, a decision that really stung. I think it's still stinging them. Um, because now they realize they made a mistake walking away. Um, so they are, with the hand being here, they're seeking assistance. They're seeking help. I feel like they are seeking uh, answers when it comes to their love life, when it comes to you, when it comes to this situation. See, this is them. They, they, they have a lot of trust issues. Um, this is that feeling of walking down the road and something could jump out behind you and stab you in the back, you know. Uh, that's that feeling. Um, see, this is where they want to go uh, to seek answers, but they're afraid of any unwelcome surprises. They've been keeping their feelings about you hidden. Here we see that they want to come to you with this Knight of Cups. They're so very tempted with the lovers next, but they've been holding back because they're afraid. Because they're afraid. Because they know what to do. They've had their wake-up call. <laughs> they, they know what to do. They just need the courage of the lion to do it.
they know what to do, they want to act, it's like they're on the verge, <laughs> on the verge, but it's like, oh my god, I'm so afraid, um, but they're going to do it, and you may even receive a gift from this person with the flowers, some type of gift, maybe flowers, but maybe some other type of gift um, from this person. Okay, this is a card of healing, it is a card of restoration, it is a card of um, uh, proposals, um, uh, apologies, professions of love. So, this is all coming to you. And there it is. There's the reunion. And there's the new information. And there's the decision for the future to do it. So, they're going to ask you if, you know, if you could set your feelings aside and maybe forgive them for how they behave. They behave badly here. Um, this news will come to you most likely within an eight probably is going to take you by surprise especially if you haven't heard from them in some time okay so that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you